the post draft press conference, you said you are happy as hell to be a part of the Buccaneers. Has this sunk in that you're getting this opportunity with a great organization where you can, can come in and contribute right away? It's it's slowly sinking in, Bob. Cause I mean, being at home, you ain't getting the I'm in the league vibes just yet. So it's slowly sinking in. But I mean, learning this playbook, kind of making it sink in even faster, knowing that so much comes with being in the league. You gotta know so much. Uh, so standing the playbook, it's kind of helping that sink in more. Very important question. I can't see what's on your hat or your shirt, but have they sent you uh, Buccaneers yes, gear? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Buccaneers gear. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I love it. So, so it's official now. Once you got, once you got the threads. <laughs> once you got the gear, you straight. Alvin Kamara was somebody who, for people that didn't know him, sort of took the league by storm, and he was a third round draft pick, only taken a few picks before you were taken. Do you look at him as an example? And also coming from a, a Tennessee um, college, do, is he somebody that you've looked up to or modeled your game after? Um, before I entered the league, he was one of the guys that was one of my favorite running backs as far as NFL-wise and everything. But, I mean, now we're on the same level. So it's kind of – we kind of compete now to see who can be the best. So, I mean, that's a good thing. But AK was a dude – who I kind of model some of my game out there. Going in the third round, is there any extra motivation to prove yourself? I will not say it's motivation. Kind of far as me, I approach the game the same way. Um, being, I mean, of course, chips are stacked on my shoulders right now. Being a seven running back taken off the board. So, I mean, you got to prove stuff every day in this league. So and that's something I'm ready to do. Would you say that the last two years in college, you developed your pass catching abilities? And is that an area that you've shown the most improvement in? Um, yes, I, I can agree on that. Um, just getting more comfortable catching the ball is what's my biggest thing. Um, out the backfield, running different type of routes, something I had to get used to on the college level. But I say these past two years, I was able to make that step in the right direction, uh, getting better at, at that certain thing. And I feel I did a good job at it. You were one of two running backs that the Bucks drafted. Do you enjoy that extra competition, just another guy, as teammates, of course, and support each other, but another guy to, to beat out for for starting job? I mean, of course, competition. Um, that comes with the game, and that's something I'm ready for any time. But also, you get the thing, you got to think, like, league-wise, multiple running backs are used. So if the whole room is good, that competition level just get ramped up more. And then once they do pick and choose who they want, that rotation of everybody coming in and sliding when it's their turn, you can't beat that. <laughs> Bruce Arians was saying your draft class as a whole, he said, you guys are just a bunch of ballers. Like you guys love the game of football hard-nosed football players. Can you speak to that in yourself? And is that something that you see in yourself? Um, yes. Um, like I said, I approach the game the same way. I'm kind of more of a practice game, same thing, how you approach it, especially with the football is kind of more mental than it is physical. Um, and I feel like this class, even virtual rookie means I'm kind of seeing that everybody's kind of locked in, kind of ready to for things to get rolling. And that's kind of the little vibes I'm picking up. Have you thought about, I mean, you know, in this quarantine, you have a lot of time to, to think about things. Have you thought about what your welcome to the NFL moment might be, if that's maybe being in the same locker room with Tom Brady or playing a certain team? I ain't really just thought about it, but I mean, like, doing this whole process, soon I'm able to get to Tampa Bay, as soon as I'm able to get to the facility, practice it, I feel like that's when I'm like, all right, I'm going to leave. I right, never get rolling. What has this virtual rookie mini camp looked like for you? And is it a meeting every day? Uh, rookie mini camp, we just started this week. So we've been going every day this week for about an hour. Um, and it's kind of just, you know, just talking. Um, have some guests on talking to us. Um, I mean, it's kind of just locker room talk, 
on things that rookies should be aware of coming into the league and getting kind of used to each other. Is there anybody um, from the Bucks team that on the roster that you knew already, or is there anybody that's reached out to you and, and welcomed you to the team? Well, um, I already knew uh, Antoine Win Winfield Jr. Uh, we trained together for the draft uh, down in Florida. Uh, that's was really the only person I already knew as far as teammates. And um, a couple guys reached out, um, Dare, you know, Mike Evans, some of the guys who reached out and talked to me.